Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this video, we shall discuss uh, exercise 4.1 problems of exponents and powers chapter of class 8. So, question number 1 to 5, we discussed in the earlier videos. If you have missed watching it, I'll just pin it up here in the i button. You can click on the i button and watch those videos too. And we should start from question number 6 today, right? So, firstly, if you like my teaching, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share it with all your friends. And, cello, let's start. So, question number 6. Here, you will have to find the value of n in each of the following. So, the first bit is you have 2 by 3 whole cube multiplied by 2 by 5. 2 by 3 whole to the power 5 is equals to 2 by 3 whole to the power n minus 2. Okay. So, 2 by 3 whole cube into 2 by 3 whole power 5 is equals to 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2. Now, let's see the LHS first. In the LHS, it is of the form a power m into a power n. See, 2 by 3 and 2 by 3, the bases are same. So, a power m into a power n. So, that is equals to a power m plus n. So, this I can write as 2 by 3 whole to the power. The, the powers gets added. So, 3 plus 5 is equals to, you have is equal to write it. You have 2 by 3 whole to the power n minus 2. Okay, so this is nothing but 2 by 3 whole power 3 plus 5 is 8 is equals to 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2. Now, here you can see that one, one quantity is equal to the other quantity. Okay, so 2 by 3 whole power 8 is equals to 2 by 3 whole power n minus 2. Here you can see bases are equal. 2 by 3 and 2 by 3, these are bases. So, bases are equal. So, when bases are equal, what can you do with the powers? When bases are equal, so we can equate the exponents, okay? So, exponents are also equal, clear? So, when bases are equal, exponents are also equal. So, here bases are 2 by 3 and 2 by 3, they are equal. So, what about the exponents here? Exponents are 8 and n minus 2. So, 8 should be equal to n minus 2. So, which implies, I want the value of n, isn't it? So, this minus 2, I am transposing it to LHS, so it becomes plus 2. So, 8 plus 2 is n. So, n is equals to 10 is the final answer, right? So, next question, minus 3 whole to the power n plus 1 into minus 3 whole power 5 is equals to minus 3 whole power minus 4, okay? So, we have minus 3 whole power n plus 1 into minus 3 whole power 5 is equals to minus 3 whole power minus 4. Now, the LHS is again of the form. This is again of the form a power m into a power n, which is nothing but a power m plus n. Okay. So, it is minus 3 whole power m. m is n plus 1 plus n is 5. Okay. These two powers we are adding n plus 1 and 5 is equals to minus 3 whole power 4. So, let me simplify this power. So, it is minus 3 whole power n plus 1 plus 5 is 6 is equals to minus 3 whole power minus 4. So, again the same concept we will use. It is nothing but now here the bases are equal. Bases are minus 3 and minus 3. Okay. So, when bases are equal, okay, when bases are equal, so what can we say about the exponents? Exponents are also equal. Okay. Bases are equal. So, exponents are also equal. So, here exponents are nothing but n plus 6 and minus 4. So, n plus 6 is equals to minus 4. So, n is equals to this plus 6. I am just sending it to transposing it to RHS. So, I have it as minus 4 minus 6. So, n is equals to minus 10 is the final answer. Let's see the third bit of this question. 7 power 2n plus 1 divided by 49 is equals to 7 cube. So, it is nothing but 7 to the power 2n plus 1 divided by 49 is equals to 7 cube. So, firstly, let me write this in the division form. So, 7 power 2n plus 1 divided by 49 is equals to 7 cube. So, 49 is nothing but 49 is nothing but 7 7 is 49. So, this I can write as 7 square. Isn't it? So, this is 7 power 2n plus 1 divided by 7 square is equals to 7 cube. Now, see the LHS. LHS is nothing but it is like it is like a to the power m divided by a to the power n which is a to the power m minus n. Okay. So, this I can write as 7 to the power m is 2n plus 1. 
okay minus the denominator power is square okay that is equals to 7 q so again here you can see it is 7 power something is equals to 7 to the power something so bases are again equal so bases are equals please write the same statement again bases are equal so what can we say about the exponents exponents are also equal okay so let's equate the exponents here so exponents are 2n plus 1 minus 2 is equals to 3 which implies let me do it here so 2n plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 gives you minus 1 is equals to 3 so 2n is equals to 3 this minus 1 i'm sending it to rh so it becomes plus 1 so 2n is equals to 4 so what is n n is nothing but 4 divided by 2 so n value is 2 clear so this is how we do the entire sixth bit is completely based on one simple logic if bases are equal exponents are also equal okay so let's see the seventh one here also you will use the same logic what is it so here you will have to find the value of x so you have 2 power minus 3 is equals to 1 by 2 power x so i have been telling you this formula if i want to send this to numerator so it is like 1 by a to the power n if i want to send this to numerator just compare this 1 by a to the power n if i send it to numerator the power becomes negative Yes, positive power neg becomes negative. So, this is 2 power minus 3 is equal to, I am just sending this 2 power x to numerator. So, it becomes negative. Okay. Now, again you see 2 and 2, bases are equal. So, bases are equal. So, what can you say about the power? Bases are equal. So, exponents are also equal. So, we can equate the exponents. So, exponents are what? Exponents are minus 3 is equals to minus 6. So, minus and minus gets cancelled. So, x is equals to 3 is the final answer. Right? So, like, let's see one more question. So, simplify 3 to the 3 by 4 whole power minus 2 divided by 4 by 5 whole power minus 3 into 3 by 5 whole power minus 2. So, this is nothing but, this is nothing but of the form a power minus n. Okay, all the powers are negative. So, I am taking a power minus n is equals to 1 by a to the power n. Isn't it? So, just, just in the previous question also, I explained you in my previous video. This you can write it as a power minus n divided by 1. So, when this is a fraction now, a power minus n divided by 1 is a fraction. You are reciprocaling the fraction. You are writing it as 1 by a power n. Yes. So, when you are reciprocaling the fraction, what is happening to the power? Negative power is becoming positive. So, here also you have all fractions. Let us reciprocal all the fractions so that all the negative powers which you are having here becomes positive. Right? So, let us do it now. So, I am reciprocaling this fraction. So, it is 4 by 3. When I am reciprocaling, the power becomes positive. So, you have a square. Divided by, this is 5 by 4. Power becomes positive. Okay? Multiplied by, this is nothing but, 3 power minus 2, uh, 3 power minus 2 divided by 5 to the power minus 2. Why am I writing this? 3 to the power minus 2 divided by 5 to the power minus 2 is nothing but you can write this as a by b whole power m is. I am just distributing the power to numerator and denominator. Okay, you can use this or directly you can use this also and change this. Okay, I will tell you both the methods. So, now this is like. So, using this formula, the power distributes to numerator and denominator. So, here also it is 4 square divided by 3 square divided by 5 cube divided by 4 cube. Okay. Multiplied by I have 3 power minus 2 divided by 5 power minus 2. So, 3 power minus 2 I can send this to denominator. So, it becomes positive. And 5 power minus 2 using, using this formula 1 by a power minus n is a power n. So, if this 5 power minus 2 is going to numerator, the power becomes plus. Okay, you have plus 2. So, that is equals to 4 square. So, this is 4 square divided by 3 square. Now, division of fractions. You have a division of fraction. So, the division sign changes to multiplication. And this reciprocal, this fraction reciprocal. So, you have 4 cube divided by 5 cube. Okay, multiplied by here you have 5 square, 1 into 5 square is 5 square divided by 3 square. So, this is final uh, answer which we are getting. Now, we need to simplify this final answer. So, here you see all the 4s, all the 5s, all the 3s, let us bring it together. So, you have 4s, where, where do you have 4s, just see. So, these are the two 4s 
and this is 1 5 and 1 5 is in division 2 4s are in multiplication and here 2 3s are also they are in multiplication in the denominator okay so i'm just rewriting this so 4 square into 4 cube multiplied by 5 square divided by 5 cube okay 5s i'm writing together this 5 square and 5 cube they are in division 4 square and 4 cube they are in multiplication and multiplied by 1 by this 3 square and 3 square they are in multiplication only but in the denominator okay so you have 3 square and 3 square in the denominator so now all these all these you can use law of, laws of exponent one law of exponent which can which you can use is a power m into a power n is a power n plus n so these two you can use this law of exponent and these two also you can use this law of exponent one more law of exponent which we know is nothing but what is it so here we have a division isn't it further divisions you please see this yes further divisions a power m divided by a power n it is nothing but a power m minus n okay so here for, for, for 5 square and 5 cube you can use this so this is equals to 4 to the power 2 plus 3 into 5 to the power 2 minus 3 okay using this into 1 to the power 3 into 2 okay 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 so the final answer i'll just write it here okay so that is equals to 4 to the power 2 plus 3 is nothing but 5 4 power 5 okay multiplied by here you have 5 to the power 2 minus 3 is minus 1 multiplied by 1 by 3 power 2 plus 2 is 4 okay that is equals to this i can write as 5 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 4 multiplied by a to the power minus n this 5 power minus 1 is like a power minus 1 so it is 1 by a power n okay so multiplied by 1 by 5 to the power 1 so that is nothing but 4 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 4 into 5 so you can leave the answer like this or you can further solve it like 4 to the power 5 is 4 into 4 into 4 5 times and 3 power 4 is 3 into 3 into 3 4 times okay so or else you can leave it here and i will meet you in the next video with the remaining problems of this exercise we are left over with 9 10 10 so i'll meet you in my next video i hope the uh, problems are clear for you the explanation is clear for you if yes do comment and let me know so that it motivates me and also don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and share the video to all your friends thanks for watching